there, it's Chris, and today I'm going to walk you through how to use the Best Friend Portrait Creator in Photoshop and Procreate. I'll be making a journal planner cover mock-up using all these ladies and show you just how easy it is to create totally customizable female portraits. It's my most customizable creator yet. You can change the color of everything and really mix and match the outfits and really create your own look. All the hairstyles are different, the clothing skin color, all that sort of thing, then you can combine these ladies together and create that best friend portrait that you've always wanted. So, okay, so let's dive right into Photoshop and I'm gonna show you the mock-up I'm gonna be using. And this is from Createsy and I can give you that link in the description below. But first I'm going to open up that smart layer. So I'm going to go into the planner that is closed, so this one, and I'm gonna hit on the smart layer here and that opens that up so we can put in all our pictures there and that will create our mock-up. So first I'm gonna go into the finder and grab one of our girls here. So I'm gonna go, I'm in the Photoshop and Affinity section of the download. So I'm gonna go in there and grab my curvy girl and grab curvy girl number four. Let's open that file up and see what we've got. Okay, so I'm gonna turn off everything just so we can see what we're working with and Let's turn on the little undies just to be modest. <laughs> and I'm gonna show you how to change the color of the body. Okay, so I have actually provided all the swatches that you'll need, or at least it's a base to start from. So you can go ahead, go back into the folder here and open those up. And all you need to do is to double click on them and they automatically will in upload into Photoshop. So I already have them here for myself. As you can see, all three of them, and we can use those just as a quick start um, to get our colors going. So I'm gonna select the fill color here, and let's just change our color to this color, change her shadow so it was something a little darker, and then her highlight. And you can also just double click on it and change the color as you wish, if you prefer to work that way. Okay, so then we can close that. Then we can go and put some shoes on her. Now you'll see bare feet. You'll want the bare feet on, and of course you can change that color to correspond with the rest of the body. And um, you'll need the bare feet on if you're dealing with flat shoes. Maybe we'll just do heels for right now because I think those look nice. Although in this project we actually won't see their feet, but there they are just so you know what's going on. And you can change all the colors in there as well of every shoe, of everything that's in here, you can change all of the colors. So then let's go and give her a skirt. I'm gonna use the accordion skirt. And you can see, oops, you can see we can change that color if we wanted and change the shadow if we wanted as well. I'm gonna leave it blue for today. And then let's go find her. We can put a top on her. Perhaps not that one. <laughs> can put a cute little top. All sorts here. But for today, actually, I'm going to put her in a jean jacket. So I'm going to turn those off, open up the jackets. And let's go find that. So we'll turn off that suit jacket and put on the jean jacket. And again, you can change the color of that as well. We'll leave it a nice jean color. Then we can go and modify what she's holding, her drinks. She's got a coffee to go, a water bottle, a coffee mug, a wine glass. And let's zoom in for here. And a martini. So I think for today's purposes, we'll just do keep it the coffee to go. Of course, you can change the colors on that as well. All right, and then let's get a, a hairstyle here. Okay. So she's got 20 hairstyles to choose from. Lots of fun hairstyles to pick from. Today I'm gonna to choose the curly. I think that looks nice. And you can change the hair color, the hair shadow, and the hair highlight. I think I'll leave it as it is at the moment. I think that works really nicely for our project. So she's done, I mean that was really quick, right? Um, all I have to do is turn off the background, go to File, Save As, PNG, and that will save in our folder. We'll know where she is. And then we can go back to our Smart Layer file that we'd opened up in our mock-up, 
go to our finder, go back to our curvy and we'll find our PNG there. There, we can see it better like this. And we can pop her in here. All right, so there we have one of our three friends done. It's gonna leave her there. Let's do another one. I'm gonna go grab this lady here, number three. Okay, and so we can just turn everything off again. And we can change her body color. Change the shadow. So we can go like this. I would double click on it. We can select the color that she is. Go down and to the right to make a nice shadow color. And there you have it. Same with the highlight. We can pick the base color. Go up and to the left. And that creates a nice shadow or highlight color rather. Okay, so there's our body. Um, I think we can put her bare feet on, change those colors there, put her in some shoes. Maybe we'll put her in flats this time. Yeah, I think those sandals are nice. We can change the color of those as well, of course. All right, what shall we put her? Maybe we'll put her in some jeans. So let's go and pick the pants. Got all like, tights and jeans here. And wide leg trousers, <laughs> some lovely slacks. Okay, so let's put her in skinny jeans. And then I'm gonna pick the fill color. And I'm gonna pick this light blue. And the shadow color, pick this darker blue. Okay, so now we have some blue jeans. Next, we'll give her a top. And I kinda like that top. I like that top for today. Yeah, we'll leave it like that. Okay, and then let's do some hair here. Okay, so I think um, a little high pony is cute. Maybe we'll do the two braids and we can change that color. So I'm just gonna go to my hair swatches here and kind of pick a warmer auburn. Again, I'm gonna pick that that base color go down and to the right and the highlight. Let's just pick that base color up and to the left. I think I actually want to darken this just a touch more, just the shadow here. Just get in there. That's better. Okay. So I think she's done as well. Let's turn off that background layer, go file, save as, PNG. Right. And then we'll find her. Oops, we'll go back to our smart layer and bring her in here. And there she is. And we can just size her up a little bit. Maybe not quite that much. All right. Good. So we're off to a good start. So next, I'm going to go into Procreate and show you how this creator works there. All right, so I'm gonna open up Procreate and I'm going to import one of my ladies here. So I've downloaded my zip file and opened it up. And now I'm going to go into the Slim folder and grab my best friend Slim. And in Procreate, it's a little bit different. Instead of just having one big file with everything in it, of course, with layer limits, it has to be broken up. So there are 13 files. So all the little bits and pieces are in there and then you're just going to combine them together in one canvas. So I'm gonna start with the body and I'm gonna start that as my base. I'm gonna open up that and we'll import it. And here's our lady. And we can go in just like before and change all her colors. So what you wanna do here is click on the color fill, not the layer mask, but the color fill. So we can go change the color of a fill and I have all the swatches as well in Procreate that you can put in there. So you're not left on your own, you can start from here. So I'm gonna just drop that in there. Her shadow is going to be a little darker than that. Oops, maybe like this. And her highlight's going to be fairly light. Okay. So I'm gonna close that body and I'm gonna turn off her bare feet. So then I'm gonna go back to my gallery and import. Next I'm going to do the hair. So I'm gonna find hair. 
Hair is broken up into two sections, so we have hair long and hair short. So let's do um, a long one. Grab that. Okay, so let's see what we have. Medium length, we have over the shoulder. Maybe we'll do over the shoulder. And I'm just gonna change that color. I'm just gonna pick a blonde color, bring in that shadow, just warm it up a little bit. And bring that highlight quite light. Okay, so then what I'm gonna do is go to my wrench, go to copy canvas, go to the gallery, go to the body, go to my wrench and say paste. And now we have our hair in here. Now we just have to place it. So there it goes. Fits right, right in there. Super simple. Okay. So then we'll go back to our gallery, go to import and let's pick out an outfit. So I think I'm going to put her in a casual hoodie and sort of tights, that kind of thing. So let's go to the pants. Open that up. Oh, switched. <laughs> and we have these, which I'm going to do the crop ones. And um, here we can select all sorts. There's um, all sorts of patterns, different patterns we can choose. So I really like this flower one. I think that's kind of fun. And we can change the color of our clothes. And I'm just going to pick um, something a little lighter I think okay and then the shadow I'm just gonna bring my um, color picker down and to the right and there's a nice shadow okay so then we're gonna go to the wrench copy canvas gallery go back to the body wrench paste and just slide those on there perfect okay so she's almost ready go back to the gallery I'm going to go to import and I'm going to give her a hoodie. Now hoodies are, I've considered those up as a jacket. So I'm going to select the jackets, grab this hoodie and I'm going to change the color a little bit, maybe sort of a purpley color, just a little bit dustier. There we go. And change the shadow color. Okay, perfect. Then I'm going to go to the wrench, copy canvas. I think you've got it. <laughs> go to the gallery, go to our body here, paste. And just make sure I've got that in there. Right, and as you can see, we're just gonna have to make a little edit, which is super easy in Procreate. So I'm just gonna take my eraser, put it up 100% and just tuck in her hair here. Oops, let's get that way down here just so that tucks in. Perfect, there we go. All right, so now I'm going to go and transfer this to my computer so we can put them all together. So for me, I'm just gonna say share and I'm gonna share that as a PNG and send that to my computer. So now that we're back on the laptop, I'm going to go in and find my file. It will be in my downloads and our best friend too. We can just bring her in here. Perfect. Okay. So I'm just going to size her a little bit and I'm going to go to edit, transform, flip horizontal because obviously she was facing the wrong way. <laughs> so I just hit enter. Okay. So this girl needs to be below. Our first gal, that looks better. Okay, so let's just have them all tuck in as much as possible. And I'm gonna go and shift select all of them. Do Command or Control T. Hold on Option just to keep everything in the center and zoom in. Bring those a little bigger here. Okay, as much as I can. I still wanna see that coffee a little bit. Let's have it about there. And I kinda of wanna hit midway on their thighs. You don't ever want to do it on a joint. That'll look really awkward. But I think that's good. Okay. And then as you can see, we have a problem. You can see that our hand, this gal here, 
her hand is going in front. So let's fix that. And all we need to do is take this girl here, click on her, do Command J to copy or to duplicate and to slide that below curvy girl number three. Okay. And so we can click back on this first layer and I'm going to do a layer mask by just clicking our layer mask down here, adding that and then grabbing a paintbrush, just bringing it up a little bit bigger here. I just have it on the solid fill and oh, I should also mention also have your black and white and have the black on the top and that will remove this. So all we need to do is go in here and remove that. So now they're nice and interlocked. So it's really simple. It's a way to work non-destructively. You could erase it as well, but a mask is nice just in case we need to move or change anything in the future. Okay, so let's go ahead and just change this background color. I'm just going to pick a little light pink, I think, and just pop that in there, just with my paint bucket. Okay, good. I think we're looking good. Um, let's just uh, this girl is slightly taller. Okay. And then I'm going to go grab my text tool, click on the black and white settings. I'm just going to use black today and grab, I think I'm going to use Elise is nice. So I'm just going to click here and say, hello, comma. And I'm just going to size that up. So command T just bring that fairly large, maybe about there. Okay. Click on my text tool again and say, beautiful. All right. And I'm going to have that as the Rochella script. I'm pretty sure, don't quote me on it, but I'm pretty sure these are all free fonts. I'm, I think they are. So you can just Google those and find them on a couple of sites. Okay. Um, let's just make this a touch smaller. So command or control T. Right. Okay. I think that looks pretty good. So let's just see what it looks like on our mock-up. So I'm just going to say command S or file save to make it appear on our mock-up. And we'll go over there. And there we go. All right, I think that looks pretty good. So I'm really happy with that. Oh, you can see this little dress here and shoes and those you can actually use the clothes on their own if you wanted to as well. So that's how you easily make a bunch of best friend portraits and a journal mock-up in Photoshop and Procreate. Also, if you're interested in the best friend portrait creator, I'll leave a link in the description below for you. You can find it and check it out. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial and if you did, hit that like button, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you'll be notified of new tutorials just like this one in the future. Love you guys so much. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.